Today we're looking at topic two, lesson five, stories about taking away. So we know that we're going to subtract. Another word for this is minus, take away. They all mean the same thing. So today we're talking about stories. So normally I would have you guys draw counters to represent the objects that we're drawing, but I think it'll be fun to draw some ducks in this pond. Okay, so let me go ahead and draw some ducks really quick. Duck. And I'll keep drawing and come back. So I decided to draw three ducks. That's the whole number. That's how many I'm going to start with. But one of them decided to go under the water. So I am going to X that. How many am I getting rid of? I'm getting rid of one. That means I'm getting rid of taking away minusing one. And you can see I have two left. So you can go ahead and copy me. Draw your own ducks. Let's start first with the story. It says that seven ducks are in a pond. Three fly away. How many are still in a, the pond? They chose to represent this with cubes. It says you can use cubes to show the story. Seven is the whole. That's all the parts put together, the whole. Three is the part that was taken away. So four is the difference. You can write a subtraction sentence. So seven, we took away three, and that's four. We took away three because, boys and girls, three ducks flew away. So that was the part we were supposed to take away. Here is our first problem, which is done for us. It says Dan has six pails. That's our whole number. He gives two pails to Sue. Well, if he gives them away, then we're losing them. So that means take away two. That leaves Dan with four left. Now let's look at the part part whole. He started with six. He took away two. Six, go backwards two, five, four. Or two, let's keep going, three, four, five, six. Either way, you are gonna end up with four. Okay, let's look at the next problem. Some children play outside. Okay, well that doesn't tell us anything, the word some. Then one child leaves. Oh, that means we take away one because a child leaves, so it's like a sentence. Take away one. Now there are six children playing outside. Okay, so we have to figure out what the whole number is because remember, with a subtraction sentence, the first number is the whole number and we get smaller. So if you look on this part over here, you can see that they don't give us the whole number because that's what we have to figure out. But we do know there's one and we do know that there's six. Those are our parts. So what can we do? We can add these together. Six, seven. The whole number is seven. So we have seven take away one equals six. It takes a lot of reading to do to figure these problems and thinking. Do you understand? Remember, we just discussed this. There's no writing. It says, how do you find the difference in a subtraction story? Well, remember, the difference is the answer. So how do you find the difference in a subtraction story? You take the whole, you subtract the part to get the other part. Okay, friends, this is the independent part. Look here, there is a story which you can read, but it gives you the whole number and the part. So I'm gonna set it up for you. 
Remember, when we subtract, the whole always goes first. The hole's at the top. And then part of it's four. So you're gonna have to figure out the other part. Look, same thing here. They give you the whole, that goes first, and then they give you the part, which is six, so that goes next. Remember, we need to find the parts here. What are we missing right here? Is this the whole number or is this the part? Yes, this is the whole number because it's first. See, we're subtracting. So you need to find the part. It might help you to draw a part, part, whole. Put the whole number up here and the part, you know, too, to figure out the other part. All right, I want you to pause it right here, read these stories, see if you can figure out the answers. Don't be afraid to draw the counters. And after you um, pause, after you pause it now, and then come back, I'll show you the answers. All right, boys and girls, I am back, and I hope you worked hard at this, and I hope you ended up with four on the first one. The missing part was four. Okay, the missing part here was three. And then the missing part here was six. See, I drew six, so I hope you got those correct. All right, boys and girls, this is the back. Let's look at the first problem. It says Lynn has nine jacks. She gives Tom some jacks. So Lynn is starting with nine, that's our whole number. She gives Tom some jacks. Now some does not tell us the number, so we don't know how many she gave away. We're gonna leave that as a question mark. Okay, and now she has five. Hmm. So what do we have to add to five to get nine? Or we can go nine and go backwards five. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Did you get four? You can also use the model over here to help you. Okay, I'm not gonna give you the answer to this one. This one says eight birds are in a tree. One bird flies away. How many birds are left? For the journal, you're gonna find the missing number and then write a story. So let's look here. Seven take away two. Remember this is our whole number. We're starting with seven and we're gonna take away two. Part. It's gonna leave us with an answer here, which you are going to figure out. Okay, let's do a good job on this, boys and girls. Turn it into your teachers.